memorable movie, Do the Right Thing, by Spike Lee, where he played Sal, the pizzeria owner. And uh, Spike is nice enough to join us now. Um, Spike, thank you so much for joining us. And I, I want you to know how much that movie meant, meant to my uncle. And I, I hope that you were happy with the way it turned out as well. Oh, yes. I want to give you condolences, you know, for uh, Danny. As I put, as I post my Instagram, you know, Danny helped us to make a cinematic history. Do the right thing is one of the greatest films in the history of American cinema. Danny was uh, nominated as Best Supporting Actor for the role, lost out to Denzel and Glory. And this past year, on June 30th, Michael, Danny came to the 30th anniversary block party for the film. And the block party was held on the block when the film was shot. He was right shot on one block. And that's the last time I saw him. And so I was on Instagram this morning and people were telling me that, uh, that your uncle had passed last night. And so I've been a punk all day and you know, and, Remembering all the good times we had, you know, and also, as you know, he was a huge Yankee fan. Yep. Lo loved the Yankees. And, and just a good guy. Just just good people. You know, we, we knew we were doing something special. We shot that film in the summer of 1988. And uh, his performance and many other films besides the right thing will we'll live forever. How did you know he was the guy for Sal, Spike? Oh, here's a funny story. I originally wanted De Niro. So he didn't want to do it. I said, all right. So I was, then I, was, I mean, yes, I met Dane. Remember that restaurant called Columbus? Yeah, he was always there. Always there. So we met there. And we had like a period we both trying to, we both fill each other out. <laughs> right. Like, is this going to work? <laughs> but uh, thank God that it worked. And, and uh, it's, it's funny, there's a pizzeria in, uh, uh, in Brooklyn today called Sal's Pizza. So I went over there and said, look. Three, three slices for everybody, but you got 300. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Cal Garden, and the PC is called Sal Famous. So, uh, it's a big blow, big blow. And I, and I know Danny has been, you know, I mean, I got a, some guy that nicknamed, just, I didn't even know what the guy was, came to me and said, you need, you need to call Danny. And I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm blessed that I got to speak to Danny like last week. So we had, we had a very, very long and personal conversation. Spike, so Spike I want to, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, Spike. It's Peter. I wanted to ask you another do the right thing question real quick about Danny. Yes. Um, that movie was so important uh, for me as a kid to see in terms of starting to understand race in America a little bit and in New right. York uh -huh. specifically. And Danny's character of Sal was amazing because it, it, it showed the complexity of, of humanity. Um, exactly. Pr President Obama gave a speech uh, in 2007 where he talked about how racism isn't this thing that we all think it is. We have people in our lives who we love who don't understand race and who have racism in them, etc. Danny, th the Sal character was not a bad guy, but he had bad traits. He, he seemed uh, to do I, such a brilliant job sort of straddling that line. How do oh, you, you guys do that? Well, if I may say this, what makes... Michael K, you know this. What makes what makes dramas you have to have conflict? What makes a great game have to be close? So here's the conflict. Conflict can be taken to the height when both people have a good viewpoint. For example, Bucket Out says, Look, Sal, everybody here up here in Bed Stein is black and brown, black and Puerto Rican, and you have no 
who I can reach the people on the wall. Ballot point. The South says, look, if you want black and brown, black and Puerto Rican on the wall, get your own pizzeria. <laughs> That's where drama is. They both have valid points. And that's what made the film great. There was no black and white. I mean, I'm not trying to make a pun, but this essay, apostrophe T, is complex. It's not black and white. Did this he stuff, race, race is complex. And Danny and everybody, the late Bill Nunn, who played Ray Raheem, John Carl Esposito, who played Bug It Out, I played Mookie, Zeno Jackson, played uh, Miss Wiggin Love Daddy, John Turtle, a Pino, I mean, that stuff is, that's why the film is still relevant today. Because this stuff is complex and you just can't get rid of it with some infantile solution. Did he help you as an actor? Because, I mean, you're playing Mookie, you're directing the film, you're a kid at the time, you're like, what, you know, 30 years old, 28 years old? How, yes, how helpful was he? At that point, he's 15 oh, years oh, into his I'm career. Telling you. And I'm going to be, as they say in Brooklyn, I'm going to keep 100. <laughs> please do. <laughs> Which means, please be it. Danny and I, I say this respectfully, please understand me. We butt ahead sometimes because we were both trying to figure out where his cast is Sal, Sal Frank Jones, you stood. And because of the budding head, we arrived at Sal, the, the final version of the film, which is great. So how much different was the final version to what you envisioned that character to be? That was it. But here's the thing, though. For people, especially people who know nothing about how movies made, you can write something, but once you're on the set, it becomes something else. Actors have to say those words. You have different energies between people, so it becomes a whole different animal. And that's what Dan and I, you know, we have to work it out. I remember one time, <laughs> there's a scene where after, after Sal took the the Louisville Slugger, the Ray Raheem's uh, boombox, where he's supposed to grab Sal and, and pull him over the counter. And Danny says, Spike, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Danny, you talking about this. Spike, I'm not doing it. And then it got a lot of heat. He got a little heated. And, then, <laughs> and my first AD had to clear the set. Wow. <laughs> had to clear the beat real. And then me, me, me and Danny, we sat there, we calmed down, and we worked it out. Well, Spike, true I, story. I, 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 great. True story. I thank you so much for coming on, and um, you know how I felt about my uncle and uh, a movie like Do the Right Thing, although he passed away last night, he lives forever. He lives forever lives in a forever. great movie like and that. And will you please give my condolences to Sandy, please? I will, do, I will do that. Thank All you, right, my thank friend. You. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. So that is Spike Lee.